In today's video, we're going to go over the top five defenses in Madden 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is focused on giving you Madden tips and tricks that is going to help you take your game to the next level in Madden 20 and also in Madden 21. Today, we're going over, again, the top five defenses that you can use in Madden 20 that are very effective to be able to stop the defense. The first defense that I want to go over comes out of the 3-4 bear, and this is a meta defense that I talk a little bit about in my defensive competitor's guide. If you haven't already, you can pick that competitive bundle guide up in the description of this video. But we're going to go into that right now. But before we go over the blitz, what I want to encourage you to do is if you're new to the channel and you're just coming by checking out this video, again, my channel is purely devoted to helping you improve and win more games in Madden 20. And if that's something that interests you, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button. But I also want to encourage you, and more importantly, to join my Discord. My Discord is the best way to stay up to date with my latest tips, strategies, and tactics that you can use in Madden 20. And also, right around the corner, we have Madden 21. All right, so 3 4 bear. Basically, you're going to come out in the play pinch buck O. And then all you're going to do is you're going to globally blitz all your linebackers down, and you're going to press twice. And you see when you press twice, it's going to pinch your defensive line in. And then what I like to do is spread my line, crash them up, QB contain rush, and the snap of the ball, which you're going to see is this is a send seven meta, right? You're going to send seven at the quarterback. And basically what you're saying is even if you max protect, even if you block a running back, this defense is going to come in. So again, three, four bear, all you're going to do is press twice, spread your line out, snap of the ball. And you're going to see, even though he blocks the running back, that pressure still is going to come in off of that left side. So that is the number five defense that I wanted to go over uh, setup-wise. Number four defense that I'm going to break down, and this is more of a concept, uh, more of a coverage shell. But what you're going to see here, and this is really, really good for defending compression sets like shotgun bunch uh, and things like that, like the cluster. But it's the nickel 245, and the play you're going to come out in is you're going to call the play cover four palms. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your outside guys, you're going to put them on deep halves, and then you're going to shade coverage down, shade coverage up, and you're going to user the middle of the field with your user. And what you'll see at the snap of the ball is all of a sudden these wheel routes that are so effective against the cover four palms defense are completely boxed, completely locked up. This is really good for anything that is kind of going over the wide side of the field. Again, this is just a very simple meta defense that a lot of people are running. Again, I think this is like my number four defense. But what you'll see here is if we try to throw corner routes, rollout corners really aren't there. It helps take away those outside breaking patterns. It really forces the offense to have to throw the ball into the middle of the field, and that's where you're going to be lurking with your middle linebacker. So my number four defense is cover four palms, and all you're going to do is you're going to put the deep safeties in deep halves, and then you're going to shade coverage down and shade coverage up. My number three defense that we are going to go over here comes to us out of the um, Green Bay Packers defensive playbook. But again, you can be found in other playbooks as well. But that is the nickel 335, 335 wide. And the defense is cover two man. And this is really a specific run defense. But basically what you're going to do, you're going to press coverage. You're going to spy both of your safeties. And you're going to use her this middle linebacker. And that's all you do. And you'll see here that you're going to be able to stop most of the runs in the entire game. Just by calling that one defense, it's going to help you stop the run. So, again, I'm going to give you that setup one more time. All we're doing is we're pressing our safeties. We're putting them on quarterback spies. And then we are just using that middle linebacker here. I'm just not going to show that. But you see those safeties are going to shoot in. Because you're in a nickel 335 wide formation, that's going to help contain those outside uh, running plays that people love to run in Madden. So, again, that to me is one of my... Uh, top five defenses. My number two defense comes to us out of the big dime, and that is the big dime two three six. And I love this defense against the pass. This DB fire two has some really good coverage concepts you can run off of this. But basically, all you do is you're going to press coverage. You're going to slide in both of your corners here off the edge, and you're going to contain rush. That's pretty much the setup. Literally, DB fire two slide your corners in off the off the edges. You want them to kind of line up here. Um, you want this corner to kind of set square, just like that right there. And then you're just going to use her, one of the linebackers on the right side. And what you'll see here is at the snap of the ball, you are going to get either double edge or single edge pressure from a five-man rush out of the DB fire too. Again, I love this blitz. It's more of a passive pressure. Um, and you can actually do some really unique things out of this formation to stop the pass with coverage defenses and different things like that. 
But as you can see, it's a really, really good and really, really effective pressure. Just make sure when you slide them in, you do get that proper alignment that we're going for out of this. So again, all I'm doing is sliding these guys in, making sure they're stacked right on the hip of the defensive end. And then when I get that stack right there, I'm going to hit QB contain. If you see here, you want that contain to rush to that outside. So I just want to kind of pinch him in just a little bit more. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball, I'm going to get that pressure off that left edge. And typically you'll get a lot of sack fumbles with this defense. It's another really effective pressure in this year's game. And my number, number one defense in Madden 20, if you're looking to really take your game to the next level, the defense I like the most is cover to sink, but there's a little bit of a glitch with this play and you wanna make sure that you do this properly. So you're gonna come out in the play DB sting to buzz, but you're gonna to audible to your cover to audible, which is your cover to sink. What that's gonna do is it's gonna put the linebackers in the gaps and it's gonna allow you the flexibility to do some really unique things with your pressure. So I'm gonna come out DB sting to buzz and all I'm gonna do is audible to the cover to sink Again, I'm going to slide these guys in right off the hips. And if I get this animation here on this corner, you see I want to make sure to kind of angle him so he's facing toward and I get that contain on the outside. And then from there, I like to take Kendricks. I like to put him on a quarterback spy. And I'm just going to use this guy on the right side or the left side of the field. And you'll see here at the snap of the ball, you're going to get really decent passive pressure uh, from this. And, and occasionally what you'll actually get is a two-man pressure with the with the defensive guy defensive back really looping in here off that edge you'll see if i get that stack if i get that proper stack that i'm looking for and i kind of use her this guy backed off and i'll typically man him up on the running back even though i'm going to just use her him into the left seam but you'll see here snap of the ball and you're going to get that really really nice um, pressure off of that left edge we'll show that to you one more time again cover to sink all you're going to do is slide these guys in that's all I'm doing, just sliding them in manually. And I'm gonna show my play art here. And then all I'm gonna do is take this guy on the right side and I'm gonna bluff blitz him or put him in a QB spy. And then I'll typically man my user up against the running back and hold L1 at the snap of the ball. And you'll see here, you're gonna get that two man pressure. It doesn't come in all the time, but it does come in a lot of the time. And again, I believe it's the best pass defense in Madden 20. I believe it's one of the best defenses in Madden 20. And if you can use that nickel 335 wide to stop the run, and then you can go to that dime 146 when they pass, you're going to really set yourself up for success. So let me know, you guys, in the comments, what are your top five defenses in Madden 20? And if this video helps you in any way, what I want to encourage you to do is, number one, I want you to join the Discord because that is really the hub of my channel. And number two, I want you to click my How to Be Ready for Madden 21 playlist. We have been working on kind of setting you up with a quick start guide um, completely free on our YouTube channel for how to improve and how to get yourself prepared for Madden 21 launch, which is right around the corner. So click that link there in the screen and we will see you in that video.